we should do no percentages topic percentages so percentage is per 100 if i need to compare two students if a student got 88 marks out of 90 and other student got 127 marks out of 129.5 it would not be easy for us to compare these two students so if the basis are same suppose the student A got 97 out of 100 and student B got 96 out of 100 clearly I can say student A performed better than student B so if we have same base it be life becomes easy so that is the reason we follow percentages the major advantage is to compare with uh, according to the same base So how to convert number to percentage? So to convert number to percentage, I need to multiply with 100 and place percentage sign. So if you are good at converting fractions to percentage, you can save a lot of time in calculations and you can solve questions in less time. So please do remember how to convert fractions at least up to 1 by 12 to percentages. 1 by 2 in terms of percentage is multiply with 100 and place percentage sign which is 50%. So similarly 1 by 3 is if you convert into percentage, you get 33 1 by 3 percent. In competitive exams, they prefer instead of decimals fractions, so try to learn in terms of fractions. 1 by 4 is 25 percentage, and 1 by 5 is 20 percentage, and 1 by 6 is 16 2 by 3 percentage, and 1 by 7 is 14 2 by 7 percentage. 1 by 8 is 12.5 percentage or 12 1 by 2 percentage 1 by 9 is 11 1 by 9 percentage 1 by 9 is 11 1 by 9 percentage 1 by 10 is 10 percentage 1 by 11 is 9 1 by 11 percentage and 1 by 12 is 8 1 by 3 percentage if you can remember up to 1 by 12 it's more than sufficient but if you can remember up to 1 by 20 Calculation becomes faster, which will save your time. How to convert percentage to number is if I need to convert 200 percentage to number, so remove percentage sign and divide by 100. So 200 percent is same as 2. We need to divide by 100 and remove percentage sign. So now the golden rule the golden rule is how to convert percentages word problem percentage word problem into mathematical equations whenever you say word problem generally student get afraid so if you can follow these rules easily you can convert the word problem into mathematical model so what are the rules is mathematical model the first rule is whenever you see ease or was you can replace with equal to sign you can replace is or was with equal to sign. Whenever you see percentage, you can replace with 1 by 100. Whenever you see of, you can replace with multiplication sign. And whenever you see what, you can replace with a variable. This is multiplication sign. Whenever you see what, you can replace with a variable like x or y or z, which are the variable you like it. You can replace with a variable x or y or z. So for example, 20 is, this is an easy question it might look not so beneficial by learning this but I'm sure for a difficult question or any type of question if you are struggling in percentage question to form a mathematical equation this will help you 20 is what percentage of 60 so 20 is equal to just now we learned is is equal to what is some variable percentage is 1 by 100 of is multiplication sign 60 so which is 20 by 60 into 100 1 by 3 into 100 we know 1 by 3 in percentage is 33 1 by 3 percent so x should be 33 1 by 3 percent how fast we can solve a question is more important than solving question as i frequently say so try to be fast next is finding percentage decrease and percentage increase so how to do percentage decrease and how to find percentage decrease and percentage increase is i need to find what is the percentage decrease from 3 to 2 by what percentage I need to decrease 3 to get up to 2 so please do remember suppose if I have 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 which is greater definitely 1 by 2 is greater so if you want percentage increase more the denominator should be always less 
we want less percentage decrease is less denominator should be more so what should be the percentage decrease if you want to take a different example i want to decrease 5 to 3 what is the percentage decrease so percentage decrease is given by difference upon i just told you to have a less number denominator should be more so difference upon larger number into 100 just remember like this so that you'll never forget and you'll not have any confusion so difference upon larger number into 100 will give you the percentage decrease so the percentage decrease is 5 minus 3 2 upon 5 into 100 1 upon 5 is 20 percent so 2 upon 5 is 40 percentage and if you need to find percentage increase percentage increase is given by difference upon smaller number into 100 percentage difference upon smaller number into 100 percentage smaller number into 100 percentage this is the percentage increase formula so according to me these formulas are more than sufficient in percentages you can solve any question by using your brain but if you want more formulas i can teach you but these are more than sufficient so what are the other formulas which might be required for you to solve questions easy is suppose a quantity is increased by x percentage a quantity is increased by x percentage by what percentage the increased quantity should be reduced by what percentage the increased quantity should be reduced by what percentage the increased quantity should be reduced to get back to the original quantity or to obtain original quantity to obtain original quantity so since it is a percentage what is a uh, by what percentage increase will reduce so so it is now it should be reduced so which is percentage decrease percentage decrease is given by x upon the larger number which is 100 plus x into 100 percentage for example 100 is increased by 10 percentage so now it becomes 110 so by what percentage I should reduce 110 to get back 100 so this is percentage decrease percentage decrease is difference upon larger number into 100 so 1 by 11 is we already learned 9 1 by 9 9 1 by 11 percentage 9.09 percentage so students always think so if I am increasing something by 10 percentage I should increase the uh, decrease the increased quantity by 10 percentage which is not correct so this is the thing you should reduce since the quantity now is higher you should reduce it by only 9 1 by 11 percentage to get back to the original quantity so this is the formula next formula is if you are decreasing a quantity suppose 100 is decreased by 10 percentage means 100 minus 10 which is 90 now by what percentage i need to increase 90 to get back to 100 so percentage increase percentage increase is given by difference upon smaller number into 100 so now i should increase 11 1 by 9 percentage so the formula is if a quantity is decreased by x percentage we should increase it by x upon 100 minus x into 100 percentage to get back to the original quantity if a quantity is decreased by x percentage a quantity is decreased by x percentage the decreased quantity should be increased by x upon 100 minus x into 100 percentage to get back to the original quantity last formula which i uh, might be of useful is a quantity x is increased a quantity a is increased by x percentage and the increased quantity is again increased by y percentage so 100 initially increased by 10 percentage which is 110 and 110 is again increased by 20 percentage which is 22 means 132 so what is the net percentage increase net percentage increase is not 30 percent so net percentage increase is given by net percentage increase is given by x plus y plus xy by 100 percentage same thing can also be explained for suppose 100 is increased by 10 percentage the increased quantity is reduced by 20 percentage what is the net percentage decrease so you just need to replace y with minus y a quantity is increased by x percentage and the increased quantity is reduced by 
y percentage. So just replace x with y, you get x minus y minus x y by 100. In this case, 10 minus 20 minus 200 by 100, which is minus 12 percentage, means the result is decreased by 12 percentage. What is the net result decrease? So for increase in the formula, I use plus, for the decrease, I use minus. For the last, we can also learn population problems. If the present population is P and the population is increasing at the rate of R percent per year, then the population after N years is given by then the population after N years is given by A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole power N. If it is decreasing, then the population is A is equal to P into 1 minus R by 100 whole to the power of N. These formulas are more than sufficient, but as I say, if you are put at the initial percentage increase, decrease, and how to convert word problem into mathematical model, that is more than sufficient to solve any question.